What's up, everybody? Walter Benaziak back here on the Awesome Walter YouTube channel with my friend, pal, and co-contributor, <laughs> Mr. Brian Porter. What's up? Um, so this was a DC animated movie that I've been looking forward to for a really long time. Um, I, when I first heard that they were finally going to adapt uh, The Death of Superman in a more faithful way to the comic books, I was really excited because there was going to be a two-parter. It's going to be The Death of Superman and The Reign of the Superman, which is going to be coming out next year. Um, so did this live up to that? Um, was this better than Superman Doomsday from 2007, the first DC animated uh, movie that launched the, uh, the animated movie sort of universe, kind of, where it had like you know a new movie every couple months? Yeah. Um, that was the first one. So did this live up to that? Was it better than that? Was it more faithful? A lot of questions. <laughs> uh, well, I have some answers. I did read The Death of Superman before. Um, I actually think that that book, or I mean those those issues combined, is pretty well done um, in terms of the death of Superman. Obviously, it was uh, you know played up for like everywhere for so long. Um, they were in the early nineties, ninety three, I think. Yeah. Um, when they killed him off, so that was getting like mainstream news coverage. This was like the first thing that uh, started off killing all these characters, and now everyone's doing that and it's been doing that since then. Yeah. But this was the first big one. Um, so did this, you know, like uh, meet my expectations? Um, I will say first off that I was disappointed initially hearing about this was going to be a part of their the, their little continuity that they've had going with the Jason Aware Batman um, and you know this Justice this, League War thing where it started. Yeah, the new animation two. type style. And I'm not a fan of these character models. Um, nope. When I saw them in Justice League War or in you know Throne of Atlantis or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, War and Batman Thron movies. Throne of Atlantis were just bad. I, I kind of like Throne of Atlantis because it was an Aquaman movie. <laughs> but, I mean, the uh, movie, I'm, you know, the but character the animation, models. right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. animation. And, and animation these. back then, not not great. I wasn't just not a fan of these designs. Um, but it's I have like, enjoyed some of the movies, like the Batman movies. I kind of like some of them, like uh, some of the Batman and and. No, some Batman stuff. wasn't too bad. Yeah, there's a few Batman versus just... Robins kind of okay. Like, there's some cool stuff that they've done in this continuity with this animation style. But I will say that it's looked the best it's ever looked in this one. Um, yeah, so far with this animation style, it's definitely better. The character models are a little bit better. Yeah, just a little bit cleaner. It just the uh, movement as, was really, really good yes. looking in this. I it thought. did. It did move very fluidly. It wasn't yeah. as blocky. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and with the character models smoothed out just a tad bit more, it uh, it it everything it was transferred smoother. better it, with the smoothness. Like definitely. everything just looked better. Yeah, I, I was really impressed with, with how well the animation moved and stuff. And even though I'm not a big fan of the character models, they did look much better. And I, I think it's a combination of me being used to them by now because it's been years since this was introduced. Yeah. And uh, the combination of the fact that it's just, it, like, it moves so fluidly, like we said. So like the combination of those two factors, I actually kind of like the designs for the most part. Um, I'm not a big fan of the character models in general, but I mean, they kind of work here. I kind of got on, on board with it for the most part. Yeah, um, like uh, GL, Green Lantern's character model I liked. I thought yeah. it looked pretty good. Flash right. is pretty good. Right. Uh, Martian Manhunter was actually on the scrawny yeah, side for yeah, me. Yeah, kind of weird. It was kind of weird looking. Right. But the fact Hawkman that we got, looked good in this. I did like Hawkman, yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyway, let's get into the actual storyline of this. So, um, this is closer, more closely adapted, or, or this did closer adapt the book. Um, in terms of some of the some of the uh, plot points and stuff like that, it's still like its own original story. Um, there's a lot of like things that are not in that book that set it up and stuff, but like a lot of like, or at least some of the main things that happen there, like all the Justice League members fighting Doomsday first, that happens. Um, a lot of really good fights. Um, the stuff, some stuff with Lois that they keep in there, like her watching and stuff, is is handled pretty well and kind of like the book. And there's uh, the ending lines where Superman is talking to Lois is like straight out of the book, so. Um, there is some good stuff in there. Um, let's talk about the action really quick, because I thought the fights in this were awesome. Definitely some of the best so fights well I've done. seen in any recent animated movies, and yeah. probably some of the best I've seen in any DC animated movie. I agree 100%, sure. man. There are some really well done and, and um, interesting and different types of way to use, like, the environment in the action and stuff with and the it was, cars. It was and... very fast paced, you know what I mean? Like, yes. It wasn't like a little burst of action and then some small stuff, small no. stuff, small stuff, burst of action. It was just, just, it was going. Man. Yeah. Just spot, spot, spot. And like, it was very brutal, very fluid. Right. And a, a lot more actual fighting, you know yeah. what I mean? 
they they build Doomsday up really well as just this killing machine. And he's in the movie for a lot of it. I mean, he first crash lands like near Atlantis and kills a bunch of Atlanteans, and then climbs up to the surface and starts doing his thing. But and they, they had the containment suit. Which I did really like cool. the containment suit a lot. Yes. Yeah, and it like slowly, you know, is beaten out of it yeah. <laughs> throughout the course of the fight with Superman and the other Justice League members. Um, but what I really liked is that each main Justice League member had like a little fight with, with Doomsday before uh, Superman took him on. Yeah. Uh, Wonder Woman's fight was awesome with him. I thought like the back and forth they had, it wasn't too long, but I thought that was really good. Yeah. Um, I Flash. Liked, Flash was really cool. He had going, the, the, oh, he had the mace. Metal with the mace. Oh, that was yeah. so cool. That was really good. And he was going like around just it, like... It, he started off with the sonic punch and then he yeah. just was just in there. and That was the, great. Oh yeah, it was really good. And then you could see like Doomsday actually covers Right. He gets down and he covers himself, and you see his he eyes moving, him. and mm. boom! Yeah, caught him. It was really good. Yeah, I thought that, yeah, he, they used their powers really well against Doomsday. I thought that was really cool. GL's fight, it was however short. brief it was. But like, I liked his cockiness going into it. Yeah, oh yeah. Like, that's, like that's, we, that's, I'm yeah. part of the Green Lantern Corps. We deal with these kind of monsters every day, and that's true. And why wouldn't he think that going into this fight? Yeah, he deals with aliens. And this is no normal alien, though. And the the fact that like he he had him like contained, and and as soon as like he had him contained, you see him like double down on the willpower, like holy shit. Yeah. And then it just right breaks his construct, and Mm -hmm. it's like damn. Yeah. Batman does what he can. He throws some some bombs at him a couple of (laughs) times and jumps away. Yeah, that's about all he could do at at, at this point. Yeah. um, but yeah, I mean, Hawkman's little fight was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so seeing him swinging the mace around before Flash got was really fun. Um, yeah, Martian Manhunter didn't get too much to do, but no. I think they had to take him out early because he's just as strong as Superman. So if they would have double teamed him, it would have been much easier to take him out. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, Doomsday got like pulled him through his own body when he tried to face through it, yeah. threw, him in, threw it into a gas station in the fire. That is one of Martian Manhunter's weaknesses. So that took him out pretty quick. Yeah, um, yeah. But then the Superman fight, uh, this went all over the place. It was on, like, that big bridge in there all throughout the city. Um, I love when we get the big uh, sonic booms and they hit each other. I think that's really cool. Yeah, glass shattering the uh, surrounding yeah, buildings. Yeah, they're just, like, in the in the books and stuff. And that was also in the, the uh, Superman Doomsday movie. So um, that stuff's all intact there. Um, so, yeah, the, the action I can't speak well enough about because I thought it was just so well done. Probably the best animated superhero fight maybe i've ever seen like it's up yeah. there it's at least it's it's high on the list um superman public enemies when uh Bat, oh when Bats, everyone takes them on yeah, yeah. everybody takes them on. i too. really really like that one mm-hmm. uh superman and batman like coordinating and just fighting all this huge rogues gallery right i remember that being a really really good fight right and but, i'm not uh, i don't want to take away from the superman doomsday fight because it was short but it was a really good fight especially yeah. for i mean that, that was time period a while ago now, now. Like, yeah that was 11 years ago when that was released so um i will say i liked how that ended like how that fight ended better than than this one yeah there's a big there th- yeah there's um, we'll go. Yeah, I mean, we'll this is. I it. mean, you know, it's called the death of Superman, so you know Superman dies. But yeah. Um, but like, well, this is slight spoilers. I mean, just kind of how it happens. Um, but it's not really gonna spoil anything because we know Superman dies. Yeah. In in Superman Doomsday. Well, let, let's talk about in the book first. So in the book, it ends with like one big giant punch from both of them, and they both kill each other. Superman does like a double sledge, um, and and Doomsday gives him like one like red cross or something. I think. And they both kill each other from that last impact. And Superman's clothes are all ripped, the, the costumes all ripped up, which they do in the movie, which is really cool. Um, so that I remember Bruce Tim talking about that in the extra, extra features for Superman Doomsday. Um, that like that's great for a comic, but like that's not like really conducive to animation. Like they, they could have done it in a cooler way. And I like how they did it because in Superman Doomsday, Superman like takes them and like blasts off, yeah, like above the earth, and then comes crashing all the way back down through the the. the um, um, the layer, ozone layer, whatever, and then uh, all the way down to yeah, the ground. Yeah, straight rockets and like a, like a mir- meteor. Right, know. and that kills both of them. Yeah. Um, and, and that makes a little bit more sense. Right, you know what I mean? and there's He's a big just, crater, and like yeah. that was the end of, of Superman in that movie for a little while. And this, um, after a great fight, Lois 
God. <laughs> Always get me in trouble. Go away, Lois. Yes. Why are you right by where they're fighting? She has to be where they're at. Least, that, like, at least you gotta get up in a story. helicopter Excuse or me, something. Mr. Doomsday, while you're killing Superman, can I get a snippet? Right. In, in, in Superman Doomsday, the, the movie, like she's I think she's up in the helicopter the, the helicopter. whole time, and Doomsday sees the helicopter and goes after it, and Superman has to keep her away. Like, that's that's better, okay? Yeah. Like, she's doing her job, but she's not stupid enough to be right by where they're freaking fighting when the entire no, but, city's been destroyed around them. Yeah, but then she gets in the car. She gets in, the, like, the Humvee or whatever. Did and she they, drive there? They, but I thought it was after. I don't remember. remember. The, whatever. The thing comes down and they drive, she drive But this back was to the much city. more blatant, though. Because she was literally right in front of it, Jimmy, like, filming it. Yeah. Oh, that was so stupid. And she's talking to, like, Ugh. basically to the Doomsday. God. You know, just like... And she... And the, the thing's walking towards her. I know. That is so dumb. Like... Um, but, so she, like, tries to buy Superman, like, one other extra second and, like, throws a rock at Doomsday. It literally throws her. a rock at him. And then and she has another rock and then she decides to drop it. Like, maybe this is futile. Yeah, that, so, they took a cue from Batman v Superman with the Doomsday kind of, th- I mean, I wouldn't say that this is, like, a necessarily a negative thing. But they, they, negative, when Superman gets they called more it damage. Beforehand. When Superman gets more, or not Superman, Doomsday gets more damage. Um, he starts to like get stronger, kind of Hulk out a little yeah, bit, and his... those those bones protrude farther out. So that kind of happens with like he gets like the Wolverine claw comes out. Yeah, and the no, he gets here, the he gets the Baraka claw. There you go, Baraka claw. So Superman like is inspired by Lois saying that she loves him, and he like gets back up for one more thing. And, and he just sees that off. Lois is about to die yeah, again. Right. And he takes off like like yeah, full he... speed he possibly can, and like breaks. Doomsday's neck all the way around. Yeah, just, um, so gigantic sonic boom destroys everything around them, and like when the except dust settles, for Lois, who I is know like I was going to get to that. I know, like four <laughs> feet away. All these yeah. buildings. I know, are like and she, she's right there. Up. As soon as that happened, like oh, Lois, Lois is incinerated. <laughs> right? She's like, 100% no destroyed. But she's fine. Not she's even not, a bloody nose. Not a scratch. Um, but at the end of that, so, so Doomsday is dead, and we see we pan out, and it's the BVS thing with the. The claw the, through the, the chest. claw just... Ugh. And Superman's dead, or about to die, and they have the little dialogue from the book. Uh, which, which is that really part well, was good, well but it's done. just like, why yeah. can't he just die from his injuries? He's already been just tossed around like a rag doll. I know, I know. Like, shouldn't the the just the exertion of all that extra that would have been okay, been okay that he that. did? Like, I would have been... We didn't need the bone stab. No, but, absolutely not. Um, like, but they added in there... Zack um, Snyder's everywhere. I know, he's... I'm everywhere! <laughs> um... I'm omnipresent, you know, because oh, oh, I'm cool. Oh, um, God. So they, <laughs> they have uh, the big, uh, like, shot, the iconic shot of the Superman cape on the, looking like a flag, like a memorial And flag. it looked good. It, it looked great. It worked. Yeah. It worked. The emotional 100%. aspect of it worked. Right. So let's, and... let's transfer into that. Okay, so yeah. we talked about the action, but I thought, I mean, that was great. I thought the action was great, and I think what it did well along with that was the emotion of this. Uh, with Superman dying and showing that the city really cared about Superman. I know you thought it went a little too far in some cases. At the beginning of the movie, they started off with just blatant, in-your-face, we love Superman! I tell you what, I love Superman. And, Favorite but it's like, guy. It's like, character, boom, love Superman. Character, boom, love Superman. Love Superman. Yeah. Just like right in your face, boom, 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 boom. And it's like, we, we get it, death of Superman, you're setting it up that everybody likes him. We know this. Right. Like, I mean, they went really over the top with Hank Henshaw. Oh, yeah. But, I mean, that's that. He, that's kind of like that they're setting up the Cyborg Superman thing. Um, so I'm glad they're bringing all those characters in. I'm really excited Steel. to see it. Steel. Steel made sense, too, because Steel idolized Superman. After he died, he took up his mantle, kind of, and yeah. became that superhero. So that makes sense. Um, but they end with uh, Bing, Bib, Bingo Babowski. Bib, Bibbo, Bingo Bibbo. Bibbo, Bibbo Babowski. Bibbo Babowski, um, who's a is. really good character from the animated series. I know he's in the books, too. Um, so seeing him in this, he was kind of the emotional center of everything because he he was he kind of represented everyone in terms of their love for Superman. He's yeah. like a Superman super fan. Um, but he's like, like really and he, but he's also him. and he's like this big big guy. Yeah, right, right. This big, big sailor. Ex-sailor. Uh-huh. He opens Owns up a restaurant. restaurant and you know. Yeah. Take a picture of me, Superman. I know, but like the, he's so pure hearted. Like I yeah. totally was like, oh, he's a good guy. Yeah, he <laughs> saved me plenty of time. Yeah, you know? I, I felt like. Like his emotion when Superman died and stuff, and they do some really cool epilogue stuff showing the impact of his death and everything. So, um, yeah, the emotion overall was was really well done. I thought. I mean, uh, I actually thought the Lois and Clark 
handling of the relationship was done really well. Yeah. Because Clark is reveals to her that he's Superman right before Doomsday, uh, before he has to join the fight against Doomsday. Yeah, and he's really reticent to tell her and right. just dealing with like having her in that that aspect of his life. Yeah. And uh, that was so well done. It was, man. it was yeah, it was well done. Mom, it was Clark very Kent, like being he, part of that. He, he, he had a, a vulnerability. About yeah. him, that was you know you don't really see too often, right. so it worked for the character in the situation. Absolutely, I thought that was really well done. Um, and then you know, like she he tells her his first secret that he's Superman. He takes off the glass, and she's like, "Oh, <laughs> yeah." She's looking at him for a second, like, she's like, "What? Wait a second. <laughs> they gotta come up with some kind of explanation. Like, say like the, the those are like Kryptonian glasses." And like and they, they morph his face, yeah, they morph his face or something. Just yeah, give me something. Because he didn't even like tousle his hair. I know, or anything he didn't like do that. nothing. He just pulled his glasses off and like, yeah. I'm Superman. It's right. Just like that's secret number one. Secret number two, like she didn't get the, he didn't get to tell her because she got called from Jimmy, or you know, and that's when Doomsday was attacking. Yeah. So he writes it and leaves. By the yeah. Time she's off the phone, My he's second secret off. or whatever, she opens up the it thing. Says, I love. I you. love you. That was very yeah. sweet. I thought it would have maybe been placed a little bit better if it was after his death. She, she pulled she goes out to open her, it and yeah. it says, "I love you." That would have been very nice. I thought, but um, in any case, it was it was a nice little moment that I really liked. Um, so. We establish everyone like Superman in this continuity. Like he's become the superhero that he's supposed to be. He's the the shining light example that Superman he's should be. He's full of hope. He's full of hope. That's a novel concept. For this I character. know. Right? Almost like it's what makes him work. Yeah. Um, so we, it'd be it'd be really cool if the symbol on his chest, you know, meant hope. Really? Something Does it? like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's yeah. not enough. It stands for hope. I don't know why I went Nicholas Cage. Here. Uh, <laughs> Why wouldn't you go? Well, because he's Superman there. now in, in Teen Titans Go Movie. <laughs> yeah, that's something. That's that's, that's right. something. Apparently, that's good. But anyway, I don't want to talk about. Um, so uh, yeah, so I thought that one of my favorite scenes, if not my favorite scene, is when Superman is. We see him saving people as like the destruction is all around with Doomsday, um, and this little boy goes up to kind of help Superman. Like he he leaves his mom and like kind of goes to runs to no. see if Superman's okay. No, he just went to go grab his Game Boy. Oh, is that what he did? Yeah. Oh, I thought he went to go run to see Superman. No, he went to go grab his Game Boy. Okay, well, that's hey, just as important. So he goes to get the Game Boy, and, uh, like, Superman saves him from something, um, and he gets the Game Boy. The boy goes to turn around and go back to his mom, but stops, and goes back around and hugs Superman. And I was like, that's yeah. it. It, it. That's what we need. Exactly. Yes. There was enough... And, and Superman still even... And he embraced him and everything. Yeah, he embraced him, but he was still kind of, like, little, like... Like, go back, okay. Yeah, but like, he's still but, like, vulnerable with, like, oh, yeah. Okay. That is Superman. Yes. Okay? That's him. He That's will, the character. He will hug the child. Yes, exactly. Um, so the emotional aspect, really well done. Um, uh, we cared about Superman's uh, presence on this planet and, you know, how everyone liked him. Um, so besides that, I thought some of the writing was really done. Some of the back and forth in the Justice League meeting I thought was hilarious. Oh, <laughs> with yeah. Batman there was and some... Flash and Green Lantern. Great. Yeah, there were some right. really good moments, for right. sure. Are you on the BTA? Please tell me you're on the BTA. <laughs> uh, with some more chaperones on Batman. That was that was really fine. Really well done. Is he still glaring yeah. at me? That That's all fun. he does. Yeah. That was uh, really well done. So um, some of the writing I was a big fan of. Um, so the voice casting, I think, is maybe the weakest part. What's Jerry O'Connell? Is Jerry O'Connell, yeah. I thought he worked okay as Clark. So, he, at Superman, I just, like... Uh, it's, it's hard to buy into that voice of Superman, but yeah. um, it didn't detract too much from the movie. I, I think it just got more used to it as it went on. Even yeah. though he's been Superman for like a, a lot of movies now, but just for whatever reason at the beginning of the movie, I was kind of taken out of it. I think we all can agree. Well, we'll talk about Rebecca Roman first, as Lois was like kind of. Yeah. Eh, I don't know about yeah, that either. That I mean, she was guy. fine as far as the acting, but but Rebecca Roman has such this distinctive you voice. You can tell, right? And it just it it to me it didn't work, right? It was a little off. She um, went, like the acting wasn't bad or anything like yeah, that. It's just, just the voice was just one of those voices that right. I couldn't I couldn't take the fact that she's Rebecca Romaine out of my head. Right, that's Mystique. <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. Um, or the, the random girl from the first Punisher movie, Thomas Jane. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, the one that stuck out the most and oh, just yeah. like, what the frick? Rain Wilson is Lex Luthor. What the it was frickin' hell terrible. are we thinking here? Really I bad. like Rain Wilson. I'm a fan of The Office. I know you aren't. 
But I like The Office. I like uh, I know Dwight. I know I mean, Dwight's character. I've seen enough of right. his stuff online. And he's a good actor, too. I mean, he shows up. Like, Super is a really good movie. That old James Gunn movie with uh, Ellen uh, Page. And wasn't he in Bridge to Terabitha or something like he's, that? He probably. He's been in a yeah. lot of stuff. And he, he's a decent actor. It really is. Yeah. But, like, his voice is so iconic as Dwight that unless he, like, drastically changes it, like, people are just going to think and then, of Dwight. With the way that he was acting as Lex Luthor, Ugh, I could some totally of it like, hear like Dwight I'm supposed stuff. to win. Yeah, I'm supposed to win. He was so whiny in this. Yeah, and uh, it's just that like, was a weak point. can we get Clancy Brown back? Because mm. they haven't had a good Lex Luthor since Clancy Brown. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, like yeah, right. just 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 get him back. He's the man. I agree. I think he would. He, he could have fit into this pretty well. Absolutely. Like, just even if he didn't put him in. Yeah, um, he'd be better than Rain Wilson. He's even yeah, bit. Uh, that was so freaking weird. It was bad. Um, it was really bad. It stuck out. And no offense to Rain Wilson or anything. I mean, I think he's a good he's actor. He's just not right for the role. You need someone uh, yeah, different for, I, for I, If this was goofier, if this was like a more kind of kid-friendly, lighter-hearted yeah. version of the story, yeah. it doesn't have to be Death of Superman, but a, a lighter version of Lex Luthor, maybe in a kid's show or something, then I could see that. I think James Woods voices him on, on Justice League Action. Really? Yeah, which is, I think, don't quote me on that, but I think I know think, we, you know, I we did Owlman in Crisis to Earth. Yeah, right? Crisis on Two Earth, right. But I'm pretty sure he's Lex in, in that, but it's a different enough voice where, like, you could you could put that in a kid's show and be like, oh, it's just a kid's show. Like, this is a different take on it. I'll go for you. Yeah. Rain Wilson could have fit in that, but in this, is Death of Superman, this is taken very There's seriously. There's no gravitas that was it, to Yeah, just, his he, voice. he does have a deep voice. He can go with the lower register and stuff, but, yeah. and there was a point where we thought he was voicing another character that he was talking to and it's like, dialogue, it just sounds like I the actually, same guy. I got confused. I thought they, if it's he not, was saying it's the a, same thing. Right. Yeah, it was, if it's not the same, if it's not Rain Wilson voicing both those characters, then I don't know. Yeah, that was <laughs> really weird. Because it sounded weird. very similar. Um, but yeah, um, I think that's like pretty much overall like our opinions on this one. Um, I think that on the whole, I, I actually was on my seat for mo- like on the edge of my seat for most of this movie. I was into that the action. Was definitely intense. Yeah, I thought it, I thought a lot of the stuff was really well done, and it was kind of clunky, um, but for the most part, it drew you in with the action and the emotion, and those are the two things I think you have to hit to do these type of movies really well. And we know this is the death of Superman going into this, so the fact that they give some surprises in there and they made us care about Superman, and we they made us care about that the earth cares about superman yeah i thought was uh, a really uh good thing to bring to the forefront in this one yeah um so that was well done something we've been missing yeah absolutely so i thought that was great um certain aspects i didn't like like we said but on the whole i actually enjoyed this quite a bit i was on the edge of my seat watching the action and i was invested in the story he did say and i completely agree we were watching it it was like a little over halfway full he's like halfway through he's like yeah, this is better than BVS. Yeah. <laughs> when it's he's like, punched him under the sky above the clouds and you get this great shot of the moon. Yeah. I like that. It's better than BVS. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely better than BVS for right. sure. Absolutely. Uh, my person, Personally, I, I, I agree with Walter on most everything. Uh, motion was there. The action was there. And, you know, clunky, yeah. Uh, personally, for me, is the best of all these new, the new 52, this new animation style. Not new, new, but, you know. And uh, of all these, like, this continuity, right, that we got going on now is the better one. Mm -hmm. I am interested now to see uh, The Reign of Superman. I'm excited for that, man, because I think we got a little um, Eradicator tease at the end there. Yeah. uh, Because we got Superman's body taken from the coffin, and then we see a Superman-like figure figure sprint off into the air, um, fly off. So, I I originally Eradicator. I originally wasn't on board with this movie. I was just like, wow, we already did we already this. Did let's, it. Let's, let's, let's keep But, I mean, there's so much more. I mean, we get a little tease for Connor Kent in this, too. Uh, yeah, he was Superboy. You know, balled up, so we didn't right. even see his face. But, yeah, it definitely so, looked like Connor Kent. Set up for him, set up for Eradicators. We got Steel. set up for Nick Henshaw uh, as Cyborg Superman. And then, yeah. And we got Steel as well. So, the Rain of the Superman, I'm really looking forward to seeing all those characters come together. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, too. Yeah. I think it's the beginning of uh, next year, I think, sometime. I like think January, so. Like, January, February. Yeah. Right, um, um, but yeah, this this overall, I think we recommended, right? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I, would, I would definitely it's watch fun. this again. And, and it's, they gave it time. It's an hour twenty minutes, which we never get for these movies. Yeah, these, uh, these they gave it some time. Yeah, I thought that was well done, man. Like, yes, give us like if if it if it serves the story to expand it a little bit, go past seventy minutes, go past sixty five minutes. It's okay. Yeah. 
Like, I'm still gonna buy and watch the movie. <laughs> if it's 10 minutes longer than 70 minutes, like, come on, man. Yeah. Um, I thought that was a, a good part of it. So, um, yeah, I was, I was invested in this one. So I, I would suggest it uh, to check it out. Um, it's not exactly like the book or anything like that. They definitely craft their own story around it, but it is more faithful than the Superman Doomsday movie. Um, maybe not better than some of uh, the Justice League episodes they did about the death of Superman. I thought it was really cool. Um, and those are actually in the top fives for the Unlimited uh, episode. I think or it was in regular Justice League. It was on one of the, uh, those two shows. Um, that was really well done as well. But um, yeah, I think we both recommend it. We both really liked it. Um, yeah, I'm not coming, sure. coming from someone who's never actually had a good thing to say right. about this new continuity, right. like I've I mean, never, I'm not sure I've watched almost all of them, and I have not been on board with any. Right. Of them. I'm not sure if I, it's the best one of those, but it accomplished what it set out to do um, in a really fun, exciting, different, and kind of emotionally gripping way, which is yeah. surprising for for these nowadays. So, I think you should check it out. Um, um, when will they come out with the Reign of the Superman? Pretty soon we'll be back. I think we should do another review together. For Absolutely, that. yeah. But um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Um, and let me know what you thought of this movie in the comments below. And I'll catch you next time right back here on the channel. Bye.